Hello everyone. Uh, in our previous video, we have discussed about the important topics of absorption by roots in the crash course. Uh, in today's video, we'll be discussing the two most important questions which generally are repeated from this chapter. Fine. So, uh, uh, this is a crash course which we are doing for grade 10, the ones who are going to give their paper in June for biology, June 2021. For next session, we'll start. Jaise hi crash course khatam hoega, the children who have now get uh, got admission in grade 10th, we will start afresh with the whole syllabus for them. So, crash uh, in the crash course, our topic for today is two most important topics or questions for absorption by roots. Now, the first question is this question wherein plasmolysis is visible acha bache whenever you get a structural question jab bhi aapko koi structural question milta hai pehle read the question uh, sorry see the diagram carefully see the diagram carefully and then think that what do you interpret from the diagram like for example ye wala diagram dekh ke aapke pehla cheez jo dimag mein aane chahiye wo hai plasmolysis fine shrinkage nahi because you can clearly see that there is a cell wall around the cell. The shape of cell has not changed. Generally, they give you plant cell only. Animal cell bohat kam aata hai. Aata hi nahi actually. Agar aata hai to plant cell hi dete hai because it's thoda sa confusing. Thoda sa yaad rakhne ki cheez zada hai. Now we have the first thing obviously for all the structural questions the labeling so the first question would be that uh, either uh, the first question should always be labeling agar suppose there are no arrows given here of course they'll give you something else so here is give the term for the state of the cell it has acquired so the answer would be plasmolysis but likhte galti karta likhte shrinkage fine sometimes they ask you identify which type of cell is this yeah, which cell is this? Animal or plant? So you have to identify that they'll, they'll ask you, how did you identify? So you have to say that there is a, there is no change in the shape of the cell because of the cell wall. Hence, it is a plant cell. Comment on the tonicity of the liquid surrounding. Up, this is something very tricky, very important. Listen carefully. Ye jo ye wala labeling hai, yaha wala, ye. Ye jo side wala label, ye wala arrow ka label is, this is hypertonic solution. Because this, this cell was placed in a hypertonic solution, then only it underwent plasmolysis. So, here, the water in the inside, water, the fluid field is <coughs> a hypertonic solution. Generally, children write cytoplasm, or they write uh, uh, empty cell, they write multiple answers. So, Please keep it in your mind. If it is a plasmolysis shell, to bahar ki cheese hoegi, that will always be hypertonic solution. So comment on the tonicity of the liquid surrounding the cell. That means you have to tell which type of solution it is. It is a hypertonic solution. Whenever it is tonicity, that means they are asking you whether it is hyper, hypo, or isotonic solution. Redraw the diagram if when placed in ordinary water. So what will you draw? You will draw, redraw the diagram again without a plasmolyzed straight with a, with a proper plant cell ka labeling. So this is a very important question from the chapter absorption by roots. The next important question is this one. Ye is se bhi zada important hai. This is the most important uh, question. This is the diagram of a root here from your book only. That is why a tip here is that you open up your book and whatever root hair wala diagram is given in your book, please learn it thoroughly with the labelings. But ki galti kahan hoti hai? They do label it wrong. They label the diagrams wrong. So that's why uh, you lose marks there. You tend to lose marks there. So you have to please learn the labelings. If the diagram will be there, it will be your book ka diagram only. So learn the labelings properly. Label 1 to 5 would be the first question always if you get this, que uh, this uh, diagram wala question because this is the most tricky part of the diagram. Read of the diagram if excess of fertilizer is added to the soil. So what will you do when the fertilizer is added to the soil? The root here will droop down. The root here will become flaccid, will undergo plasmolysis. Why? Because when the fertilizer will be added, the solution becomes hypertonic and the cell loses water which leads to uh, drooping of the root here. Name the process responsible for absorption of water here. So you have to uh, uh, talk about the process of osmosis here. Which pressure is responsible for the movement of water? So we have the movement of water here inside the 
root from the root here to the upward parts of the plant so the pressure so what i'm trying to tell you is that this diagram ab dekho these questions can change these questions can vary if you if you have your sample papers with you if you if you have previous board question papers you when you go through them you will find that the diagram remains same lekin ye question bar bar change ho jate hain so it's not fixed that the questions will remain the same but when you are doing this diagram you should understand you should know that what all questions revolve around it so these are the two main most important diagrams from the chapter absorption by roots please thoroughly do these two diagrammatic questions five markers these are five mark questions someone said ma'am it is marks it's not marker i am saying five marker questions fine so five marker questions both the questions both the diagrams so we'll in in our next video we'll talk about transpiration we'll talk about the important topics first and then we'll take up two most important questions from the chapter transpiration keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you